10 pounds. Hi, this is John and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm playing around with, training with, some blood flow restriction. Using these blood flow restriction or BFR bands on my arms, I'm going to do uh, the specific protocol that goes with this training. Uh, it's as close as what the original Katsu training was about. And that protocol involved, number one, using weights that are relatively light. The weights that you're supposed to use are only 20 to 30% of what you would normally use on specific exercises. So I'm going to do tricep press downs today. I'm going to do dumbbell curls. And I'm going to use about 20, 25% of what I would normally use, which will be some 10 pound curls and uh, some tricep press downs with, I don't know, whatever my tricep cable machine handles right here. And the protocol states that you are to do four cycles. And within each of those cycles, you're going to do a set of 30 repetitions and then a set of 15 repetitions and then another 15 and then another 15. So technically, this is going to be four cycles of four sets. So 16 total sets for biceps, 16 total sets for triceps. And that in and of itself, if you're familiar at all with my training and what I do, that in and of itself is going to be a little bit challenging for me. I've done this workout once before and literally my arms were seized up with blood and lactic acid. I could hardly move afterwards. I couldn't complete all the repetitions. I had to figure out how much weight I could really use to shoot this on camera for you so I could actually complete the repetitions. My biceps tend to give out quicker than my triceps. Uh, so near the end of this, you're going to see I'm really training to failure uh, to where I cannot get another complete repetition. And so it's an honest effort. And keeping with this protocol, the promise of BFR training is that it increases hypertrophy. So I'm trying to do something a little different for a part of my body that historically has never been great. And I'd like to make some improvements on my arms, my upper arms specifically. So for me, biceps and triceps, uh, I'm always interested in doing things a little bit uh, different. Try something new to get a new result. If you want to keep on getting the same result, keep training the same way you've always trained. In my case, I'm interested in something new and this is really what keeps me going, you know, 37, 40 years into this now. I'm 38 years this year. So I'm 54 right now. So this is actually my 38th year upcoming of training. So to keep it fresh, to keep it exciting, this is what I do. So let's see how this rolls out today. Okay. So I'm coming back for the fourth round. My arms are pretty pumped. Just got to get the right settings on this thing. There it is. So, <clears throat> so far, it's a pretty big pump in the arms. I can see what the big deal is. It's not easy, just so you know. Uh, anybody who tells you that BFR training is easy and lying to you, is it fun? Yeah, it's fun. You get some good blood in there. It's nice to see the muscles grow right before your eyes. <laughs> Doing 30 reps is not fun. You feel lactic acid burn, even in the 30. So is that to failure? No. Is it easy? No. <laughs> I 
Elevated heart rate for sure. See already. <laughs> like I said, I don't like 30 reps. Right, so now I'm down to 15s. I do three sets of 15. And you can see, first set of 15, and my biceps are near done. After all these repetitions, like I said earlier, all these repetitions and all these sets, when I'm used to doing neither, uh, is just going to get me in the first place. It's going to get me anyway. giving an honest effort. This is not my first time doing this. I've done this once before, so I do know the weights that I can handle. Whew. And I have to breathe at this point. still going to make my biceps go through the motions, even if I'm not doing a full complete rep, I'll still go through the motions, get partial reps if I have to, just to say I did it. <laughs> Alright, this is the third set of 15, my final round. See the triceps are even near done with it at this point. All these sets, all these reps. Ten pounds. Ten pound dumbbells. So, whoo, uh, got these BFR bands. <laughs> wow. So, as you can see, 
If I hang my arm straight down on my side, it just cuts the blood off from them. does not feel good. I leave them out like this, the blood can flow through them. And it feels pretty pumped right now. As you can tell, I'm breathing hard. BFR in and of itself. I'm experimenting with it myself, playing with it. Tr willing to try, you know, different techniques. Willing to try something new. I know that uh, it comes highly recommended from the people that I know who are educated in such matters and they claim that you hit the fast twitch fibers a lot harder. The ones that have the most growth potential as well. And as you can see over there, when I was curling, I could not, my, my, the fast twitch fibers, they were failing. I was failing uh, after just a few seconds. The repetitions were getting lower and lower. I could no longer go all the way up, but rather here and then here. And the last two or three reps, that was failure that I was hitting on my biceps at that point. So there's, uh, in, that, in that regard, I can believe that that's true, that you're hitting fast twitch fibers mainly. Uh, and we're gonna see, with all that blood pumping in there, uh, I'm gonna see exactly, I'll give an honest review or evaluation over time and just the kind of experience that I've had with it. So, so far, it's pretty good and the plan that I have going forward is just to make the effort to put it in there a few times a week uh, for my arms specifically. Historically, it's not been one of my better body parts. So, uh, at this stage and at this age in my career, I'm more than willing to give something new a shot and, you know, something I've never done before. And if you want the same results, obviously, uh, if you want to get the same results you've always gotten, then just keep on doing the same things. So that's not something that I want to do. I want to go ahead and I want to experiment uh, slightly and try something new that I've never done before. And this is it, you know, blood flow restriction training, BFR training. So I just got these bands. Uh, I got a hold of them on Amazon and, uh, you know, BFR bands for the arms. And uh, they have leg ones as well. And you can check those out for yourself. But they're pretty convenient. They have these clips on them, so they go on there nicely. I don't bother with you know all of the uh, make it make it at home, do it yourself things. These things were pretty cheap, so it was worth getting a hold of them. And they're made for this as well. So there's something having to do with the width of it as well. That's supposed to be better and more appropriate for this type of training in keeping with the original intended protocol of BFR training. So that's what I wanted to do, to get the most honest, near expected result. And that's it for today. We'll see how this goes. From my heart to you, John Hart, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for watching this video and all of my videos. Please take the time to subscribe and like, and give me your comments below. I love hearing them. Thank you.